The second oldest bar in New Orleans is in the French Quarter, but it's far enough away from Bourbon Street that it's never become a tourist trap. They actually rate themselves as more of a local's joint. This is Two Jacks, a classic bar and a must-see destination for any bar aficionado. Just off Decatur Street and a stone's throw from the famous French Market, Two Jacks originally started life as a traditional restaurant run by a Hungarian immigrant known as Madame Begay. Madame Begay and her husband ran the restaurant. It's actually where the origination of brunch came from, uh, where, they, where she combined lunch and breakfast and had some of the traditional brunch items. She ran the restaurant for years. This room here was actually the original kitchen. And then she lived upstairs, and there's rumors that she ran a brothel upstairs as well. So I'm not sure what was more profitable, the restaurant or the brothel. <laughs> In 1856, it was bought by the Tujak family, continuing Begay's legacy of fine dining. Uh, so the Madame Begay had a traditional Creole menu where she offered, she has cookbooks out there where she offered many items. And then once the Two Jacks family took over, it became a five course set meal. They also introduced another tradition, one of carefully crafted cocktails, which again, they continue today. Ramos Gin Fizz, one of the only bars in the city that does the actual egg white Ramos Gin Fizz. Sazerac, uh, we make our, one of the only bars in the city actually to marinate our own pims. Really? To make a Pim's Cup. It's much different than everyone else. It's a 10-day process. It's a lot of work for the bartenders to cut all the fruit and to mix everything. So we do a few of the cocktails that are traditional in New Orleans different than, than a couple of the other bars in the area. Another drink they're famous for was actually invented here, the Grasshopper. It was invented by the bar's owner and entered into a New York cocktail contest and won second place. By the way, the contest was held in 1928. This brings up the fact that the place served throughout Prohibition, with bottles and bartenders behind the bar as if the 18th Amendment didn't even exist. The bar, by the way, is an original. When we filmed, they were doing some remodeling, so it wasn't its grand self. But if you visit, it'll be much more beautiful than we can show you. But what makes this bar really cool is that it was the first stand-up bar in the city. The place is expansive, with multiple dining rooms and the balcony upstairs. And, uh, oh yeah, the place is haunted. There are ghosts in the building. I don't believe in, in ghosts, but uh, I've been here being the last one late at night, and you come out of the office, and there's a third floor that uses storage. It's really dark, and you do hear noises coming from upstairs. <laughs> I, I still don't believe it's a, it's a ghost, but you hear banging. You hear banging. You hear banging, and then you call on the phone. Gilmer is our the guy that usually leaves last, and you call down and make sure he's not in the bar, make sure he's not in the kitchen. If he doesn't answer, you get out of the building. <laughs> Two Jocks is one of the most beautiful classic bars we've been to. They take pride in both their history and their cocktails. Stop by and try one of the cocktails they specialize in. Spend some time wandering the rooms, stand at the bar, and just imagine what it's seen in its almost two centuries of service. Two Jacks, a New Orleans bucket list bar that needs to be one of your destinations when you visit.